Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer for a really interesting video out on the course. This isn't about tech specs, there's no, I'm going to give you no data on these shots that we're going to hit. It's all about performance in a real world out on the course. In our opinion. Yeah, in our opinion, but with some real time testing, we're going to hit, what, half a dozen shots, different situations out the rough, off the tee, off the fairway. Yeah. See how they're acting to greens. We've got M6 Rescue, G410, two of the biggest and most impressive game improvements, I would say, sort of, um, maybe not game improvements, the wrong thing, but these will, these will appeal to a wider audience, let's say, in terms of hybrids. And then Lewis has got the Apex Hybrid, which I think is aimed at the better player, and hence why I've asked Lewis to get involved in this test. So I want to know your opinion of what these things do in terms of performance. Would you game a hybrid in, in the... I got... would, if it was right. I mean, I love the look of this this Apex, but if the performance right, I'll game... Uh, do you currently? Do you, do I you don't. Cur no, I've got a strong 3 iron. I've got a 19 degree 3 iron. So these, I uh, know this is 20 degree. Have you ever hit that Apex? Nope. No. I've never hit any of these, so it'd be really interesting. I haven't gamed a hybrid for all, oh, maybe four or five years, so... Well, it'll be interesting to see Lewis's opinion. I'm glad he's here. I always like to have him on the videos anyway, but I think it's a really interesting one to see. I'm going to be more geared towards these, I think, and I think you'll perhaps be more geared towards that, but that's like a preconceived idea, so the interesting thing will be what happens when we start hitting some golf balls. So we're going to go 20 yards to my left and get whacking a few of these off the tee to start with, mate. Great. Ready for this? Ready. So Lewis up first, he's going to try the Apex. This is the one he likes the look of. Well, it's a great ball flight. It was a super strike. I'd be interested in straight away Lewis' reaction. Yeah, love it. Good ball flight, wasn't it? Great ball flight. I mean, that just come off absolutely great, hasn't it? So for me, um, not as confident as a player, as good as a player as Lewis, uh, this is a lot smaller profile in terms of the overall sat behind a ball. It's almost iron-like in the face, isn't it? It's very... Um... It's sleek. It yeah, it's on, the, it's on the iron side of the hybrid. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Good description, Luke. Ah, come off well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same shoot as a shot I aimed. I aimed for a bit of a cut, it did it. It's the type of thing that, again, maybe more geared towards Lewis. The, the ability to shape a shot with this type of club that I mightn't be able to quite do with a hybrid, but it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It came off the face. I don't think I found the middle. Um, i am be interested to see how we get on with these next two. So, what are you going for next, Lou? I think we'll go M6. M6 next for Louis. So, you didn't quite get that out the middle? No. Did it, did it go as you wanted? Flight was, flight was exactly... Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. That, that I didn't... Was, it didn't fly like something that didn't, well, wasn't struck, which was good. It wasn't, um, but in terms of shape of shot, what I tried to hit, it did it. So this is actually a degree stronger than, this is a degree stronger than the Apex. So they're both three hybrids, but this is 19. It's a little bit more. So what did that make the uh, Apex then? Right, Louis is on to the... Don't want to baffle you with maths, mate. Uh, <laughs> what time is it? You nearly answered that then. What time is it? Right, so M6 Hybrid. Now, for me, I like the look of this club. It's very much... It's like a miniature version of the uh, M5 M6 driver. Oh, super shot. The word frozen rope, mate. That's gone as well. Hasn't it? That is Super strike. Ball flight was you aiming? It was right at the bunker and never moved off it. I didn't think I could get there. Yeah. And so you carried it. Yeah, you carried it. Landed on very much top of the bunker and bounced off. That's, Don't. that's sat better, in my opinion. And it's come off super fast. Are we get, are we, this, is this a... I'll hit it out the middle of the club and see what that feels like and you'll hit it out the off. Yeah, then, then that's what I mean. And then I, that's what we're going for. The, the, the contrasting <laughs> review of exactly. the middle versus the, uh, the edge of the club face. The thing is, mate, in a club review, it's very much about um, both of us working for the same result. So you can't be giving me stick. That is, you, you're just you're just carrying on from the uh, from the match. A little bit lower. I mean, dead straight. 
You know what the interesting thing for me as well is, we're joking apart, is I found there's very much the bottom grooves there and uh, it come out the bottom, but I can't believe how far it's gone. Um, so I need to give that a few more goes before I give an opinion on it. But we will say, performance versus strike, is it far done far better than it should have done from what I just put on it? Yeah, I agree. All right. Okay, so that's down. So don't forget, we've got ping, this is ping G410. Yeah. Same tee shot. 19 again. Adjustability on this one though, so. Yeah. But it's set at, what, 19? Set at 19, yeah, absolutely. The same as the uh, Taylor made. A slightly left the target. Um, again, flew out the face. I think this is the point as well, is that somebody, uh, Lewis, I'm trying these things all the time at the minute, so um, the the move forward that I've seen is sort of minimal, I suppose, but if you've been a long iron player and always used to that and against hybrids, for the reasons that I wouldn't have played a hybrid myself a couple of years ago, um, I think they made some serious improvements in these clubs in the last 12 months or so. And now, like I said, the kind of negatives that you might have had about these clubs and why you wouldn't game them, I think have been taken away a little bit. Look at that. I mean, you've been, you've played the last couple of rounds with that fairy wood out of that, and that's exactly the same. That is yeah. so good. Again, line being at the uh, at the bunker, it didn't move from it. Uh, it's not going as long as the ball Louis hit, and as you'd expect it to do, but that probably, uh, again, wasn't bulleted out the middle. Fairly easy swing, and it's gone. For me at the moment, not a lot to split the three, to be perfectly honest. So let's get back down a fairway and try another situation. Right, so next up, uh, 200 and what, 15? 215. 215 to the flag. Uh, it's gonna be, it'll be a bit too long for me. I think if I get front edge, I, I'd be sort of playing this thing in around 200 yards, is what I'd be playing. Louis about 215. Gonna go with the apex first of all, keep it in the same uh, way as we did. So, away you go, mate. Hit that green. Same golf ball for every shot, Taylor made TP5 ball, so there's no variables in there. Not lower ball flight, Lou. Yeah, a bit heavy to be honest, but went straight. Probably went the right distance as well, so. This is the thing I find about this club in particular though. I, I mean, I just don't find that it picks the ball up as easy. So again, with that lower place CG that you find in the ping and the tailor made, from my testing that I've done with this so far, I find that's an issue. I, I don't just don't get, can't get the same ball flight. Yeah, I'm but with you, I'm let's with see. you. If the performance was as good as it looked, I think it'd, uh, it'd be a winner for me. Strike. Yeah. Good distance, a little bit left. But... It was left, it stayed down that left hand side. I actually picked it up quite good. It was a good strike. I opened up a little bit and pulled it down that left. Right, so Lewis, M6, mate. Liked it off the first tee shot. Let's like see what you think off the fairway. Yeah. Don't forget, green's at 215. I'm seeing a nice high ball flight here. One bounce, roll up, in. Oh. Called that quite good. What a ball flight that is. That's one bounce rolling in. Off, is it? It'll be very close. Thoughts on it? It'll be very close. Yeah. Uh, exceeding my expectations of this. Yeah. Yeah. It looks growing on me, but it's all about performance. If you can't see it go straight and fly how you want it to fly, but it, it is so. That's two yeah. decent shots you've hit with it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really good shot. M6. Yeah, for me. From looks, this would be the best looking out of the three for me. I love that little thin line that they've put, the thinner line, but it's exactly the same as the M6, M3 drivers. A little bit straighter than previous models. Straight edge, really good to square everything up, and that matte black finish, I much prefer. So out, from a looks department, this wins hands down for me. But it's about performance, Lou, isn't it? That's why we're here, on course, real life. Oh yeah. See, that's, that's a lot straighter, isn't it? The cur there's no curvature on that. No. And I'm going to go as far as to say, that's pitch front edge, which you've... Yeah, it's kind of... This, so, this, you this told again. me you can't get there from here. 
I think it sits nice behind the ball. It's shallow, isn't it? Yeah. Do you not think it seems shallow compared to the other yeah, two? I like it. There's that noise I don't like. I haven't quite got that. Yeah. Which is probably a good test of it. But might have even have caught the right edge of the green. Good straight flight again. Oh super. I mean probably you know, gonna catch the edge of the green. That's again not far off in terms of distance. It was actually absolutely bulleted. I don't know whether you can pick the ball flight up. That went into the clouds. So again, uh, be again down to my delivery, don't get me wrong, but that ball has literally flew up into the sky there. I'd have no problem with the performance out of these two from, you know, two elements in. For me, the clubs that are aimed at my level are definitely the two clubs that I would go towards. And for me, the apex is, I just couldn't game it. That's my, where I'm at so far. But we're last bit of the test. Uh, we'll have a bit of fun at the end, but last bit of the test now, we need something from out of the rough. So I showed you where all those were. The most impressive thing to me was the distance between all of those balls was virtually... Well, it's hard to split them, wasn't it? I hit one, I hit one down the left, which I pulled down yeah, the left. So the taking that one for out of the me equation. Is the sort of varied quality of strike mm. and the, the non-variance of distance. And you know, difference in ball we we well. Yeah, we couldn't really see the carry but, um, where, they've, where they've sort of landed, but where they finished, which is kind of, kind of really what matters, there was a broad spectrum of quality of strikes what? and there's three on the green, two over there, there's one just missed left. You know, all very gettable. If we were going for this par five and two, there'd be, there'd be some birdies. I mean, for me, one on the green out of three, I'll sort of take that. The one right and left, I'd have took them as well, to be fair. They, they performed, like I said, even the criticism I gave of the clubs that I wasn't too, because for me, the M6 stands out, but in terms of where they finished, hard to be disappointed with any of them, isn't it, so far? Yeah, Last absolutely. test, mate. Get it yeah. in the rough. Or get it out the rough. Get it out the rough, yeah. Right, so this is the final test. Nestle the ball down. Um, I wouldn't nestle it any lower. I mean, that's just about as much as I'd take a hybrid with you. Yeah, yeah. if it gets any lower, you, you, I think you're pitching yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I think it's a fair old test. So we're going to go stick as we are. Apex first. 2-10 uphill. 2 turn uphill. Don't pull anything left. Never mind the rough. Yeah. Left, you're gone. So that was leaked out right. You know what, that was the worst swing of the day. It's still got up there, pin eye. It's been his favourite, and look, even looks sit, wise. But, but sitting there now, I'm not thinking, wow, I'll take this club and it's just going to cut through that grass and pick that ball up. I ain't feeling that. Nope. Not really. PMA that. Really positive. I just got over that track. It's a work, yeah? But it's carry distance and everything's not done anything. Yeah, that's what I'd expect that to have done from out of the rough, to be honest with you. Yeah, again, just that same line. I think uh, it's got right up there, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, just squeezed it out again. Yeah, I'm going to go M6, like I said. I'm more confident, a bit more mass behind the ball, but I just think we're seeing the impact of the rough on the shots. It's a difficult shot to execute, even at your level, Luke. Yeah, yeah. I think it's all about sort of, got to get it up there. You know, the expectation isn't on the green from here. That's come out so good. No green oh. side <laughs> but I don't know if you picked it up, it basically pitched front left short front left i would say maybe 10 yards short and it's cambered round into the left bunker but again i won't say it the last shot but it's just again that ability to get that ball airborne from a, a ball that is effectively sitting down yeah great shot great shot it's bunkered again would have definitely got there flatter ball flight again from sitting down in that line um, I like the shallow shallow face. I like it on the three wood. I like how it sits low behind the ball. And again, a bit of mass. I feel more confident than with this um, and with the M6 than I did with the Apex. Simple as that. Whether or not I can execute a shot's another thing. Yeah, you can instantly tell that it's come out much higher, 
alley distance is there. Well, that is identical to the shot with the. Uh, well, I say it was probably didn't get it as quite as much club on ball as what I did with the M6. It's ended up with that left bunker. But it's the ball flight, it's the ability to pick that ball out of that sitting down position and still get it airborne so easy. That's the most impressive thing. Anyway, we'll find a spot in the sun and I'll give you my opinion, my evaluation, and uh, we'll get one from Lewis. Right, so that I thought was a really interesting test. Like I said, not scientific. There's no data to back nothing up. It's just all about opinion. But I think we fairly much tested a hybrid as to where you might likely use it and at the very end of this video don't go just yet because you'll see a little bit of a challenge that we throw in at the end of actually a little sort of uh, chip and run yeah uh, so, so I like, yeah. Uh, yeah you use it don't you for that reason not one for me but anyway, have a look at that at the very end of this video but opinions Lou um, so in terms of forgiveness then what would you say was the more forgiving out of the three uh, I mean across the board I think uh, my opinions uh, sort of my perception first of all would be Apex was going to be more suited to me, uh, M6 and the ping probably um, a little bit sort of not tailored towards sort of my sort of player, um, my type of player. But yep, I think, that's I think from a forgiveness point of view, um, you know we don't hit it out the middle of the club every time, and carry distance and flight certainly the the ping and the tailor made were a lot better. Um, you know I didn't quite get one with with the Apex. And it was an instant sort of, you know, dropping ball flight, dropping carry distance. Yeah, there was. Um, so, so yeah, but it really changed my my opinion straight off the bat in terms of forgiveness. So if you had to, if you had to choose, if you, if you if you had to game one of those three clubs, what would it have been? I think it had to be the tailor made from from sort of across the board. The, the one off the tee was really impressive. I love they all were as you expect hitting it off the tee, but um, in in the other situations, I think it performed the best um, for me. Um, uh, and I, I kind, of, kind of the look grew on me. It's like a sort of mini fairy wood where the apex would be an iron. You know, I did like the way the ping sat, so they all had positives. But for me, it's it's all about how where the ball goes and how it performs. Yeah. Um, I can sort of live with the look of it if the ball goes closer. So. I think performance is key, and the thing that I would say, because I think to be fair, I'm not going to go on with another assessment because it's pretty much the same, if I'm being honest with you. But I probably expected it to be that way in the fact that I thought the apex might be a club that didn't. Well, it didn't give me the confidence anyway because it didn't. Feel there's enough mass behind the club, but I did think it'd be more suited to Louis. I almost like the fact that uh, his performance and mine pretty much did similar things in a lot of ways, didn't he? The, yeah, you know, it, yeah, absolutely. Of, and I think from from a better player's perspective, maybe could dismiss the likes of the M6. And I did it on a test on its own, and it really impressed. And I've got to say, for me, it would be pretty much a hands down winner. Um, it performed well in all the situations more forgiveness i like the ball flight it really picked the ball up well and lots of versatility so overall a good test and on scientific test it's all about opinion the important thing is like i always say get out there and try them for yourself but i hope you enjoyed watching uh, thumbs up if you like the video comments down below i'll see you soon as will lou yeah and uh, we'll play this final level at stanley way which has been fantastic so thanks to them for having us and like i said just stick around for the next uh, minute or so and just watch this little challenge we threw up at the end see you soon right before we finish this video we need a little bit of a challenge it's the hybrid challenge with the uh, i don't know what you call it chip and run yeah love this shot and run. love this shot not one i ever uh, i seen that we play this up at gullen actually so weapon of choice what are you going with well i'm going apex first no this is one choice you've only got you've got three balls mate same club you got it it's, it's straight out mate nearest the pin make I'm, your choice i'm gonna go apex then he's going apex I'm gonna go with the M6. I'm sticking with that all the way. So where you go, alternate. You first. So Louis here now. He's got. He, he's. Oh, he's gone already. I didn't. I couldn't even set. Oh, that's gone past surely. That's gone. He's got a touch of. Well, fill in the blank. So how do you play this shot? Is it like a putt or? Yeah, just like, just putt. I mean, why? Why would you get laughed out? I know you love your shit before, but. Why would you play anything else? Why would you play anything else? Just trickled off at the end, got the wrong line, otherwise it was perfect. Oh no, don't go in. Oh, come on. Louie. Try. The last one, Louie's got one in close. If he can go inside that, then, whew. I'm struggling.
I'm struggling anyway, but oh, he's, that's got to be leaked out, hasn't it? Was it going to come back in? No, I think the one thing I am impressed with is the overall. I'd take the two of it in. I'd, I'd take yeah, it's a whole new shot for you, this, isn't it? A little bit of fun, definitely one for everyone to practice. Oh, that could go in. <laughs> 